Karl Paul Polina was a Hungarian-American economic historian, economic anthropologist, political economist, historical sociologist and social philosopher. He is known for his opposition to traditional economic thought and for his book, The Great Transformation. Polony is remembered today as the originator of substantivism, a cultural approach to economics, which emphasized the way economies are embedded in society and culture. This view ran counter to mainstream economics but was popular in anthropology, economic history, economic sociology and political science. Polony's approach to the ancient economies has been applied to a variety of cases, such as pre-Columbia in America and ancient Mesopotamia, although its utility to the study of ancient societies in general has been questioned. Poland is the Great Transformation became a model for historical sociology. His theories eventually became the foundation for the economic democracy movement. His daughter Kari Polina Levitt is Emerita Professor of Economics at McGill University, Montreal. Early life, Polina was born into a Jewish family. His younger brother was Michael Polina, a philosopher and his niece was Eva Zeisel, a world-renowned ceramist. He was born in Vienna, at the time the capital of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Mirali Polacek father of Karl and Michael Polanyi, was a railway entrepreneur. Mirali never changed the name Polacek and is buried in the Jewish cemetery in Budapest. Karl and Michael Polanyi's mother was C. Kalia Warhol. The name changed to Polanyi was affected by Karl and his siblings. Polina was well educated despite the ups and downs of his father's fortune, and he immersed himself in Budapest's active intellectual and artistic scene. Polina founded the radical and influential club Galilei while at the University of Budapest, a club which would have far reaching effects on Hungarian intellectual thought. During this time, he was actively engaged with other notable thinkers, such as Gyar Paragraph Rgy Lucas C.S., Oshka Jarsai and Karl Mannheim. Polina graduated from Budapest University in 1912 with a doctorate in law. In 1914, he helped found the Hungarian Radical Party and served as its secretary. Polina was a cavalry officer of the Austro-Hungarian Army in World War I, in active service at the Russian front and hospitalized in Budapest. Polina supported the Republican government of Mirali Karolaya and its social democratic regime. The Republic was short-lived, however, and when Bar Copyright Lacan toppled the Karolai government to create the Hungarian Soviet Republic Polina left for Vienna. In Vienna, from 1924 to 1933 he was employed as a senior editor of the prestigious Der Österreichische Volkswagen magazine. It was at this time that he first began criticizing the Austrian school of economists, who he felt created abstract models which lost sight of the organic interrelated reality of economic processes. Polina himself was attracted to Fabianism and the works of G. D. H. Cole. It was also during this period that Polina grew interested in Christian socialism. He married the communist revolutionary Ilona Duxiuszka, of Polish-Hungarian background. In London, Polina was asked to resign from Der Oesterreichische Volkswagen because the liberal publisher of the journal could not keep a prominent socialist after the accession of Hitler to office in January 1933 and the suspension of the Austrian parliament by the rising tide of clerical fascism in Austria. He left for London in 1933, where he earned a living as a journalist and tutor and obtained a position as a lecturer for the Workers' Educational Association in 1936. His lecture notes contained the research for what later became the Great Transformation. However, he would not start writing this work until 1940, when he moved to Vermont to take up a position at Bennington College. The book was published in 1944, to great acclaim. In it, Polina described the enclosure process in England and the creation of the contemporary economic system at the beginning of the 19th century. United States and Canada, after the war. Polina received a teaching position at Columbia University. However, his wife had a background as a former communist, which made gaining an entrance visa in the United States impossible. As a result, they moved to Canada, and Polina commuted to New York City. In the early 1950s, Polina received a large grant from the Ford Foundation to study the economic systems of ancient empires. Having described the emergence of the modern economic system, 
Polanyi now sought to understand how the economy emerged as a distinct sphere in the distant past. His seminar at Columbia drew several famous scholars and influenced a generation of teachers, resulting in the 1957 volume Trade in Markets in the Early Empires. Polanyi continued to write in his later years and established a new journal entitled Coexistence. In Canada he resided in Pickering, Ontario, where he died in 1964. See also, Embeddedness. Works, The Great Transformation, Universal Capitalism or Regional Planning. The London Quarterly of World Affairs, Volume 10. Trade and Markets in the Early Empires, Dahomey and the Slave Trade, George Dalton, Primitive, Archaic, and Modern Economics, Essays of Karl Polanyi. Collected Essays and Selections from His Work. Harry W. Pearson, The Livelihood of Man. Karl Polanyi, For a New West, Essays, 1919-1958. ISBN 9780745684381. Notes, Encyclopedia Britannica Vol. 9. Pages 554, for example, Morris Silver, Redistribution and Markets in the Economy of Ancient Mesopotamia, Updating Polonis, Antiglo Orient 5, 89-112. HTTP, www.government-online.net. References, Macroby, Kenneth, ed., Humanity, Society and Commitment, on Karl Polonis. Black Rose Books Limited, ISBN 1-895431-84-0, McCroby, Kenneth. Polina Levitt, Curry, Eds, Karl Polina in Vienna, The Contemporary Significance of the Great Transformation, Black Rose Books Limited, ISBN 1-55164-142-9, Mendel, Marguerite. Sala Copyright E, Daniel. The Legacy of Karl Polanyi, Market, State, and Society at the End of the Twentieth Century, St. Martin's Press, ISBN 0-312-04783-5, Polanyi Levitt, Curry, ed., The Life and Work of Karl Polanyi, A Celebration, Black Rose Books Limited, ISBN 0-921689-80-2, Stanfield, J. Ron, the Economic Thought of Karl Polanyi, Lives and Livelihood, Macmillan, ISBN 0-333-39629-4 Fordale, Gareth, Karl Polanyi, The Limits of the Market, Polity, ISBN 978-0-7456-4072-3 External links, The Karl Polanyi Institute of Political Economy the Karl Polanyi Institute of Political Economy at Concordia University website. Karl Polanyi, The Great Transformation, The Political and Economic Origins of Our Time Review Essay by Anne Mayhew, College of Arts and Sciences, University of Tennessee, Profile on Karl Polanyi, on the History of Economic Thought website, Kari Polanyi-Levitt, Karl Polanyi from Marginal Revolution University, The Free Market is an Impossible Utopia, The Washington Post. A conversation with Fred Bloch and Margaret Summers on their book, The Power of Market Fundamentalism, Karl Polanyi Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Critique. The book argues that the ideas of Karl Polanyi are crucial to help understand economic recessions and their aftermath.